Because I want to save the best for last. And this is where I slow down my voice. I'm not going to soothe you to sleep, no. But so purely because we have a very important uh, message. Because at the end of the day, holistically, we must bring all the efforts together. And how do we bring the efforts together? It is by having one unifying organization in which uh, I'm through this organization, I'm able to meet some fantastic people. For example, Zaini Pia and whatnot. Shambik is sitting at the back. Alia is also here. I mean, I know you guys are trying to uh, immerse yourself in the crowd, but I see you. Uh, so, Organization for National Empowerment. Why is it called National Empowerment? Purely because people don't really know how to empower themselves. People want to do something great for the nation. Uh, as Carl said, you know, let's fix the education system, but no one really knows what steps they can take in order to change these things. So, we set up one exactly 18 months ago, and these are our objectives. To assist the realization of Vision 2020 objectives. We've been hearing this ever since we were school kids. But we need to somehow achieve this. And we must remind ourselves that at the end of the day, any organization, any company or whatnot will never survive without the underlings coming through. If you do not have the young guys coming through, you will not get anywhere. So we need to promote and help strengthen national unity from the ground up. We need to start from the kids. We need to start from us. We have to be the shining beacon of it. So what we've done is, in order to function properly, we've got six, um, six clusters, namely unity, mature democracy, science and technology, economy, education, entrepreneurship. Anyone who is excited, they come to us. We ask them which uh, cluster would you be uh, interested in, my personal favorite, education, um, and then from there, we, every cluster has different activities. Now, how do we engage them? We, through debates. We debate people. We need to talk to people. That's how we engage people. We need to see what their mindset thinks. It cannot be a one-way communication. We have to write to show that you know, there's something up there. And then also we have to lead by example. It's very important. Our target groups is basically you guys. Everyone in here, everyone who is like you, if you have anyone uh, in your mind who you think uh, can come in, please, by all means. He might be, he might be uh, bringing people in, we're also wanting to bring people in, so you know, it's the same message. Our mode of operation, simple, advocacy turns to action, action turns to advocacy. So these are some of the programs which we've done. Uh, for example, Justice for MH17, obviously the report just came out two days ago, but what we did was, uh, when it happened, we decided, look, let's gather everyone, no matter what race or what background, but let's all go to Parliament and tell Parliament, hey guys, look, if we can come uh, and be united, why can't you be united? I think you know the guy on the right? <laughs> <laughs> They're best friends, really. And they, they, they always go out for mama drinks and whatnot. All of that. But it's great, it's great. We sent up, um, that was our message, because we needed people to be together. This was when we worked together with small changes, uh, as you... As I mentioned earlier, this was during the, the Terengganu relief uh, efforts, and these are our members in action. <coughs> so we have uh, Raya, so we like to dress up once in a while. Uh, that's Sunil, he's a Bai fellow, but I think the Songko uh, goes quite well with him. These are the small changes people, beautiful, beautiful bunch of people. This was the fundraisers in which we did. This was uh, Book of Poster with uh, Anna Anna Yate. <laughs> And there was this one radio station which wanted to hear what we had to do. Uh, so we thought, okay, why not? Uh, these are more of our members. We love taking pictures. Now, how do we move forward? How do we move forward? Uh, the thing is, it's true what Carl said. The traditional approach no longer works. Traditional approach no longer works. That's why we need to think of something new. And whenever you ask anyone here, do you know anything about debates? People will say yes. Yes, debates is where two people stand up and people talk. But the problem with that is, if there is one person who talks better than the other, even if he doesn't have very good points, chances are people are going to listen to him. Therefore, completely missing out the actual point. So what we've done is, uh, you know, the geniuses in our group decided, hey, you know what, there's this thing called the economist debates, and we should actually engage the people through such debates. And so we have implemented the written debate. And this is how we've done it. What we do is we try and get two uh, experts in any field in which they then debate amongst each other with a moderator. So what we had was, this was uh, with regards to Malaysia Day, uh, which is more significant, Malaysia Day or Merdeka Day. Great topic for any mama session. 
Uh, and so what we had was Alia, Alia sitting right here, she was the moderator, Rahman and Adam Reza uh, for and against. And then we also have an expert to come in, uh, you know, just to provide a bit more oomph uh, with regards to the topic. We also constantly write more uh, articles just so that people know what we are doing. And this is our website. So if you have any questions, guys, these are the things in which I'm uh, involved in. I'd love to have uh, you guys a part of it if there's anything. Because at the end of the day, if there is something in which you are passionate about, there's something out there. But the thing is, these guys, they just do it without the glam. Okay? They do it without the glamour, whatever. And that is where we need to bring these people and tell them, look, you are doing a huge, huge thing. Now, I was reading uh, Sir Alex Ferguson's book today, uh, Leadership, and it's a fantastic book. I think you guys should read it, especially if you're a Liverpool fan, please do read it. Uh, in it, he says that one of the favorite things he likes to tell his players is the thing about Canadian geese. Now, Canadian geese, what they do is they tend to fly, and they can fly miles and miles and miles. You know, to move from one place to another. Now, what they do is, whenever they fly, the ones at the front will naturally get very tired. And so what they do is, they then move to the back. Because, because they've been breaking the wind, they get tired, so they move to the back. And so it gives everyone a, a chance to replenish their energy and to, to recharge. That is what we need to do. And in order for this country to move forward and to recharge, Every single one of us in this room, every single one of you has a part to play. And it's a very important part to play. And I'm sure that we will not be let down by this. Thank you very much, Zaim and Pete, uh, for having me here. Thank you. Enjoy, enjoy tonight.